Good day, guys. I'm Waddle Gaming, and welcome back to Far Cry New Dawn. Last part, we started the New Eden quest line. We went and got a book. We learnt what happened to the deputy, and then we also went back up to the statue and lit it on fire just to appease these damn people. And now, now we need to head back, and it's time to go meet Joseph. And see if we can get him on our side, because I don't like Ethan. Ethan's a bit of a dick. A non-believer is a sinner. A non-believer does not know our ways. A non-believer has relit our most sacred flame. We need Joseph. He cleanses our sins. Father will absolve the sinner. Send the sinner to the north. Family of New Eden, you have searched your hearts and truly believe that this sinner should seek our father? Yes. It is certain. Father shows mercy to sinners. After all, we are all his children. The father guides us in this moment. Make them drink, please. The sinner is granted pilgrimage north. They will bring back the father. <laughs> Praise be to Joseph. Amen. 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 <laughs> this will allow you to cross the threshold and live. Bring back proof of his death. They will at last understand I am their prophet. And I'll give you the help you need. We both get what we want. We will show you the way. Listen well. Joseph has a sanctuary far to the north. Ritual demands you light signal fires along the way. I doubt the old man is alive to even see them, but if you don't light the fires, it will be the death of you. Because despite the sacrament, the north can still kill you. This boat and the fire are your best means of safe, swift passage. Stray from them only when it's absolutely necessary. Use your bow to light the signals with fire arrows. Bring me proof of my father's death, and I will make sure you are remembered as a friend of the Prophet. Go now, with my blessing. Okay, bud. The judge was probably looking at me through that whole thing, saying, Hmm, I I've, I've kind of been drugged before. Yeah, she got hit with a bliss bullet, then got shot into- uh, Then you got an arrow in the knee, and then you got captured by a crazy daughter of the bliss. This- this dude has seen it all, and yet he seemed to be concerned that he may have given me one too many things to drink. Okay, deputy, there's no point in you sounding like Darth Vader over there. When I said that they, uh, they reject technology, that's only partially true. They- they've got a boat. I guess that counts as technology, I guess. But it's extremely slow, so this is going to be a slow journey north. I didn't actually see that before, but we actually start in uh, Joseph's Chapel. Which is a little bit on the creepy side. But we have to begin our slow, slow descent north into the pit of hell. Because apart from butchering the north, yeah, Ubisoft kind of... What the hell was that? Ubisoft kind of also may have made it Bliss Central. So the North is a lot dangerous. Exactly is what Ethan was saying. The North will still kill me if I stray from the path. And he is exactly right. Although I would love it if this boat, like, you know, went into an actual gear. Apart from, like, sitting in just 
the slowest form of travel ever. How you going, fellas? Anyone want to jump on the slow uh, lifeboat? No? Okay, screw yous then. But in we go to the White-Tailed Mountains area, and it is a hell of a lot creepier than what it used to be. So, mainly the reason why we have to light these fire braziers, like, uh, like there will be one coming up. Yeah, 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 I bloody see ya. Mainly the reason we have to ignite these is is the reason you see before you. I will literally choke to death on bliss if I don't do it. There we go, there's one bliss done. Now I need to find a way to open the gate. God damn it, I should have just gotten, I should have just drove up here and then got out. This is another easy solution. All we have to do is just come around here to that giant little uh, wheel there. And... There's a bloody demon fish in the water that really, really needs to go away right now. Yeah, they really gave demon fish an upgrade in this game. No longer the, are they the little shits that, that nibble on your nuts in Far Cry 4. No. They will take a giant chunk out of it now if they bite you. There you go, that should fix that up. We can continue our very, very slow journey north. Because New Eden seems to like boats, but they don't seem to like actually making them fast. Let's just hope we don't run into any wolves. Or cougars. Or boars. Or, or basically anything else that spawns up here. Because it will all be off its mind on Bliss. And we know exactly what that does to animals. Because we had the judges in Far Cry 5. And they were a bunch of dicks. We've entered another Bliss zone. But that's alright. It slowly takes damage off you. I just wouldn't want to be playing this game on hard or a difficulty above that. Because I could just imagine what this gas would do to you. Right, that's close enough. Pull out our bow. Shoot a lovely fire arrow up there. There we go. There's another area done. Back to the very slow moving boat. They definitely set this area up though. Making all these sounds happen behind the screens just to, you know, make you a little bit cautious about wanting to leave the boat and wanting to explore. Um, I'm going to need to find that fire brassiere like rather fast because I think I... Either that or I just ran over something. Either one of the two works. Okay, stop the boat here. I don't want to keep losing health. I should get rid of the bliss there. Joseph certainly picked a prized possession to go up and live when he left New Eden and went up north. He certainly chose a lovely, lovely spot to sit. Anyone that would have wanted to go after him and get some revenge, yeah, glad you can go for all this bliss, fellas. Joseph certainly protected himself. And it looks like we need to open up another gate. Oh, fine. Let's go explore a little bit. He did say never to stray from the path unless necessary. Well, this is kind of necessary because I can't pass without it. Right, ignite that. That should give me a bit of protection from the bliss. It won't give me protection from those wolves, however that I would love to not just, you know, screw around with. I'd rather not screw with them. Right, let's go down and start this. 
And we should be able to continue our path north. By looking at the map, I have noticed we are three quarters through the way through this through this hellish nightmare that they have done to this once beautiful place. We look like we should be almost up to the end. Hopefully anyway, I'd love to get out of this boat because it's incredibly bloody slow. I'm not even going to ask how that got up here. All the way up the top. There's the radiation zone up top. Not a pretty thing to look at from down here. But it looks like we are reaching the end. I'm starting to see canyons. And cliffs. And that usually means that we're getting towards the end. <coughs> Due to the fact that we've entered another bliss zone, I think that only reinforces it. Come on, Cap. Or, or Lollipop, or whatever other name that you want to go under during this game. Hold your damn breath. Stop choking on bliss. It's not a particularly nice tasting gas. There is the last fire beacon right there. Shoot that one. Let's just get out of the boat. I don't really need to dock it. We have completed Into the Bliss. And it's time to go have a little chat with our old pal Joseph. But before I do that, there is also another one of Tracy's photographs up here. Which I kind of need to remember where the hell it is. And it is right down there. Quite conveniently. I'm leaving. I'm gonna try. The world's been chewing me and swallowing me and spitting me out in a cycle like could my whole life. It can't do any worse to me now. People in prosperity keep saying to me there's nowhere to go but up. But there always seems to be a few more stairs to get pushed down. But this is it. The collapse came. And this is, was the great equalizer. Now everyone's been shit on as much as I have. Everyone's been pushed and we're all at the bottom of the stairs. I'm going to climb my ass back up and leave everyone else lying on that last step. I can decide now to live how I always wanted to. Alone. Blissfully alone. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the last one we visit, but due to the fact that I'm up here now, I might as well do it. Because it does get another one out of the way. And I think that leaves us with... Uh... Maybe three... I'm not sure. I'd have to check that later. For now, however, let's go speak to our old buddy and old pal, Joseph Seed. I did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed. Myself. My family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. I was wrong. waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I have seen your face before. God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But 
he has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me. he had laid out before us. And I knew what was required when we set foot on our new Eden. When humanity emerged, I gathered my flock and set them on a new path. A rejection of everything connected to the old world. The creation of a new society. Living off the land. Taking only what was needed. You say this, man, but I got here using a boat. When the harshest years of the dark winter fell, I despaired. And in that despair, I found our salvation. This tree. Its fruit a gift from God, which gave my family the strength to endure through the famine and the pestilence. We created a paradise on Earth. But it did not last. This plague of locusts saw to that. These highwaymen embody everything God has instructed us to forsake. Their souls are rotten, diseased. Different. I believe your soul is worthy. Thanks, man. F thanks for saying that. I missed you too. Sort of, but you know, not really. And out there, that's a radiation zone. We can't go in there. family through the darkest time. confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. And your soul. Go. Kill the beast. Your soul is pure. 
You are the shepherd sent by God, and I can return from my exile. Our miracle allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. You know, the only thing that would possibly make this better right now if only you started playing. Because we are up in his area. And I am guessing these are all the people that didn't have pure souls. And what ended up happening to them. Which is not particularly pleasant. Ooh, I got a purple bow now. Alright, what's this beast I'm supposed to be slaying? It's a bloody bear, isn't it? Yeah, I could have guessed. Apparently my my Apparently my beast is a very, very pissed off Smokey. That's nice to know. When the beast rises, strike true. Oh Smokey! Smokey's got stealth now. Oh, hello. Get off me. Ah, uh, no, where's the beacon? Where's the beacon? Where's the beacon? Where is the bloody beacon? Damn, this man hurts. I mean, not this man. My, my soul hurts me, which I don't even understand how is it, how that is physically possible, but... Oh, god damn it. Hit that one. Hit that one. How am I missing? Righto, Smokey, where are ya? Uh-oh. No, Smokey. I mean, my soul. I, I, I don't bloody know anymore. Oh, no. He actually can't go for a fence. Oh, no, no, wait, never mind. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. All right, Smokey, do you want to lift those hind legs up and... No, you just want to hit me. That's great. Oh, no, 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 no. How the hell are you so fast? You giant oversized bear rug. Come on, lift those front paws up or not. Just just come and attack me like you usually do. Oh no. No, 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 no. Lift them up. There you go. Oh, how much damage can one bear do to me? You, you want to come and get me, Smokey? Come on. That's right, lift them up. That's what I want to see. The fire will cleanse your soul. Uh, no it won't. It's just going to get me ambushed by an incredibly pissed off legendary Smokey. There's number two, come on. I can do more than this. There's number three. God, freaking. Light the beacon already. Unleash the power coursing through you. Oh, it's time to go in. Where's that bloody bear? Smokey! I 
don't like legendary bears. So rack off. That is why I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be. future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I've been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. God has sent us his sword. Here! But God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come, let us all go together. We have much work to do. I'm here for you. Lead the way. If there's one thing that I will say about Joseph Seed, 17 bloody years and the man still has not learned to put a damn shirt on. Like, really? 17 years? And he still hasn't learnt that. I'm pretty sure the judge is sick of seeing his chest by now. Already my chosen fight the highwaymen throughout the long nights. Now I will ask them to find the strength to fight in the day as well. 
Your friends should make good use of the distraction and act quickly. My family cannot fight forever. As for you, remember God's gift. What you have experienced so far is just a taste of God's power. Do not waste it. I will also give leave for my judge to follow you. They speak only one language, that of violence. In this, they will serve you well. Before you can be our shepherd, you must be our sword. Go, and make the land safe for all who wish to live in peace. Rumors are that Joseph's son now leads New Eden. So, Joseph's secret has been completed. We've got the judge, so great. Now we've got two mute protagonists bloody wandering around together. Hey, you stuff it, why not? Two mute protagonists. Let, let's do it. You just call if you need me. Okay, Pastor Jerome has just learned the ability to magically teleport. That's great. We've got some new perks available as well. And these are actually really fun and really powerful. The first one I am getting is this. The ability to have a double jump in this game is so overpowered it's not funny. Uh, you know what? I will get Eden's Touch now. Because I'm going to need that for perks later down the line. So new Eden is done. Jo Joseph is on board. Uh, he is now fighting the Highwaymen with his, tr with his uh, children. And now we've got a very interesting situation. I think I have to head back to Prosperity next. And Rush will outlier the plan to uh, b basically upgrade Prosperity. But we've got Sharky, Herc, and also Gina left to get. So next part, I may... Depending on what happens in the storyline, I may just go get Sharky and Herc. Uh, Mr. Judge. This man doesn't say a lot. In fact, he says nothing. He just really wants to visualize Darth Vader in when he... He really gets out of breath in that mask. It's quite weird. You better not be a false messiah. You say what now? How about you go back to working a land and, you know, le leave it to... I don't know, people who have the gift or something. This is where I'm leaving this video off for today, now that we've completed New Eden's part. We are rapidly approaching the end of the game. We're 15 out of 22, and I've still got more stuff to do as well. So next time we'll try and get Herc and Sharky, or we might do something else. I am not completely certain yet of what I want to do. So drop a like, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next video.